ことは任せろ How's it going, everybody? It's Eon here with a Final Fantasy 15 news update, and I'm afraid this won't be news you'll want to hear. The following information originates from a report from website GameNasia. According to their recent articles, an anonymous source from GameStop management who has leaked several accurate stories in the past tipped them off that Final Fantasy XV would receive a delay. According to the source, the game will be delayed to November 29th, 2016, from its original September 30th release date. Further proving that this report is true is this leaked image showing instructions on placing a sticker for the new release date on top of the old one. For GameStop, Final Fantasy XV promotional displays that have already been printed and assembled. And before you rule that this image is a fake, here's what the original GameStop promotional display looks like identical to the one shown on this leaked manual. For the cherry on top, following the release of GameNasia's article on the matter, other sources have corroborated the report. For example, For example, website Gematsu stated that one of their sources who told them about Final Fantasy XV's original September 30th release date ahead of its announcement told them that Gamnasia's report was indeed accurate. Website Kotaku also corroborated the report in their article, stating that they heard from their own separate GameStop source that Square Enix had briefed some people at the corporate level about the new November 29th release date. So while there still hasn't been an official confirmation, and these reports are technically considered to be rumors, when the stars align this well, you can pretty much assume that the report is accurate. It looks like we'll be waiting an extra two months before the decade old game finally launches. I'm sure this will come as a disappointment to many gamers who've been patiently looking forward to this game, myself included, but honestly, after waiting over a decade, I would much rather that they delay the game a little more if it means that the game and its launch will be better off for it. And hey, when you've been waiting for 10 years, What's another two months, right? If those two months will make the difference between a rough, unpolished mess of a game and a perfect one, I'm all for it. This does mean, however, that Square Enix is walking on even thinner ice and have even less room for error. Let's just hope that when the game finally does launch, it'll prove that the 10 years' wait was totally worth it. With that, I would like to end this Final Fantasy XV news update. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts on these reports of a delay for Final Fantasy XV. And to be further updated on gaming news, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.